Hello guys, welcome to the new episode of Building Tabs Manager Live. Well, today we are going to discuss the roadmap. What exactly are we going to build? Um, so let me tell you a little bit about the history of how this idea came to me. In the past, I built to read dot today. This is a simple application. Here you can see um, links that I saved into it. Basically, it's um, it's kind of a grandfather of what we are going to build. Um, let me tell you a little bit about its features, uh, how uh, like it all started and why I stopped developing this application and develop a new one. So basically, as you can see here, you can save links, you can give them priorities, tags, uh, mark state of is it finished, in progress or opened. No, sorry, in progress on you. Uh, mark as uh, favorite or not favorite, leave some private note and uh, modify some title and URL. Also, as you can see, titles here of each link, it's not the URL, it's parsed title from uh, Open Graph protocol. Uh, we'll build parsing of this URL in the next episode. Today, I just want to tell you more about features. So on the right, you can see statistics, like how much you build. You can see I basically abandoned and don't add or read link from this app. But in the past, I, I did use it quite intensely. So on the left, you can see a variety of filters, like the, the default filter or mode of reading is read today, like the most uh, prioritized links also mixed with the most recent links. Also, we can see random and regenerate random again. Uh, you can see only your favorite links, filter by status, by priorities, uh, do it all together, and uh, tags. You can create tags here with colors. You can merge them in together if you realize ah, I have like two similar tags and all the links uh, should go into single tag instead. You can import your uh, uh, links from your browser, you know, like you have a, a bookmarks where you can have some saved, like here I have from another laptop. Uh, or you can use a book bookmarklet, which is basically this thing, you drag and drop it to your tabs and then you can go to some website like let's say it's facebook.com and you click on it and it goes directly to the application where it is saved and you later can add some uh, you know uh, attributes to it let me delete it so it doesn't uh, trash my tabs um, so multiple ways of importing stuff, but once I started to work on Google Chrome extension, I realized my code that I built with Angular application is so low quality and spaghetti code, and I didn't split it up into reusable components because I wanted, you know, to get some traction, to check the idea, to build MVP. Um, yeah, and uh, basically I got stuck with implementing the browser extension and the browser extension is quite important for this kind of application because when you uh, work with a lot of you know uh, tabs or links you want them to be safe not like this because sometimes it's not the fastest way or if you are on mobile or let's say you already have your tab saved uh, but uh, you know with this bookmarklet you, you cannot see that with an extension i wanted the extension to show me like hey yes you visited this url before you liked it or didn't like it here is your private note so it kind of gives you context because sometimes i run into same articles again and again like oh did i read it or not did i like it or not it's kind of trouble for me. 
So um, I stopped developing this app, but I like to continue it. Now, I, since I developed the new version of it with Svelte, and I'm going to build it with, divide it into multiple reusable components, build it on top of uh, shared libraries, so it's modulars, modularized, and I can have multiple shells out of this application, like one shell would be just such a web application, uh, another shell would be extension, and maybe third shell would be desktop app or mobile app, you know, wrapped with some Cordova, Ionic, I don't know what's exactly people use with Swell nowadays, but something like that. So um, that was overview of to read today. Uh, feel free to use it, uh, but yeah, adding, adding links here is not the, the most pleasant experience. I'm going to improve that. And uh, let's write down the roadmap. Here I will mark things that are already done and also things that are going to uh, be done. Right now it's just a list, but I want to add some, you know, emojis, check boxes here and there to uh, mark it as done. Oh wait, check. Yeah, this one. I use this website to, to find emojis. Uh, okay, so let's say something is done and this will be marked with the checkbox. Um, and the rest, well, I don't know. Let it be just this um, dashes for now. Maybe later we'll do some other emoji. I, I don't want it to be do emoji heavy, but something to be done. Okay, so let's uh, write down what we already have and what we are going to have in the future. So authentication and uh, let it be with a nested list of the email and password, yes with uh, email link you know it's when uh, the service sends you link to your email clicking by that you are automatically authenticated so google github yep twitter uh, maybe twitter maybe facebook let's see what have i used here google facebook github yeah why why it got formatted this weird way? I think I need to disable Frontier for markdown files. Uh, okay, so and maybe Facebook. Feel free to leave your ideas in the comments of what other OAUF things uh, you'd like it to support or maybe other features you'd like it to have. Uh, okay, so let me press save. Yeah, it's prettier that formats it. Okay, I need to disable it for markdown. How do I do it? Let's go to settings. I guess it should be somewhere there. It's prettier. I want it to not format markdown. Ignore path, pretty or ignore. Yeah, let's just, just use pretty or ignore for now. Um, readme.md should work. Try it again. Yep, he doesn't format it. Nice. Okay, and from this list, Let's see what's already implemented. Well, it's just one thing for now. Okay, uh, that was authentication. Uh, let me sign in here. Why Google is so slow? Oh, it's Firebase that is slow. I used Firebase to build this app and Firestore database. Some parts of it were uh, nice, 
some other node. Okay, next. Once you authenticate it, you want to manage links. And with links, you want to, well, first of all, create link. And um, list links. Update link, delete link. Folders, yes, uh, that will be its own thing. Tags, I think tags will implement first because tags are much simpler. Okay, and for links, I want them to have properties like priority uh, and uh, is favorite. And also status, so statuses will be new, in progress, done and uh, done liked or done disliked yep I'm a big uh, fan of you have to define if you liked it or not um, because you know later on you finished something you're like ah yeah I want to see more content like that or don't see more content like that I'm not going to implement any uh, recommendation systems right now because I feel like it's bullshit so but for myself I want to see if I liked it or not in the past okay let's be private note um, if we look oh yeah you're all parsing status favorite private note edit title edit URL Okay. Um, what else? Ah, parse here. Parse open graph data. Yep. So tags. Create tag. List tag. Update. Delete. Uh, yep. Assign. Remove. Uh, merge tags. I found it useful sometimes. Uh, but it is like low priority thing. Okay, tags are not implemented. Uh, let's see what is. Well, I think it just create link and uh, list links. But for listing, we also will need filter filters. So so far, uh, let me make it either smaller or bigger filters uh -huh. on this size filters are visible okay yep so filters mm, read today mod uh, sorted by priority and then by date yep Creation that created that. Okay, then uh, random. Sometimes random. Uh, just, just you don't want to read something from the top. You're like, ah, yeah, lazy. But I have so many links to read. But uh, let me read some easy picks. So random might help. Favorites. Yep. Then by status, by priority, tags, yep, folders, yeah, yeah, folders will be, I, I don't know which, um, which form will folders filter take, it might be that it would be on the top, like navigate through folders by default, uh, we'll see. Okay, search, yes, search is 100% important. And for search is by title, but it should be full text search, yes. By URL, yeah, some partial URLs, like uh, show me all YouTube links. Text, it's like filter now. URL, uh, maybe by contact, content. My content. 
Uh, well, that will be pretty advanced feature, but it's okay. Actually, let me mark these things as not done because not all of their nested uh, children are done. Okay, so what about folders? They are first of all nested. Ah, uh, yeah, we need to do these things. Uh huh. <laughs> nested. Uh, so that's all about folders. Uh, what else do we have? Some statistics of... So now first of all, in to read today, statistics was not more to like see how much you read, um, but more like as a motivational tool for you to read. So I'll just create a motivation session here. Motivation to read, watch and some ideas i mark them with question mark uh, so that can be chart added this c finished okay by month day day yep uh, but chart is pretty uh, how to say it's not very effective as I found <laughs> so it's kind of nice to have feature but not that important but what we definitely need is a Chrome extension to somehow nudge you to read a little bit more and Chrome extension uh, or I'll just call it browser extension because nowadays if you do something for Chrome, it will work in multiple browsers like Brave or uh, I'm not sure about Firefox, but like, yeah, all of them that use WebKit. Uh, what is it called? Engine? Yeah. So based on Chromium. Browser extensions show unread counts. Count. Unread links count. Okay, that's a good one. <coughs> Sorry. But I want browser extension to replace a home page if user wants, like optional. Replace home page and you tab with itself with the, the web app or some motivational module. I don't know what will it be. I think I need to dive into motivation, motivation side of it more. Like the idea is how can the application make user better so they read more or watch more if it's uh, videos, but instead of being nasty and you know recommend some shit to read. It's kind of need to be a little bit hidden, but but shows you like, hey, um, there are some links you haven't finished yet in progress or something. You might want to open them instead of, you know, recommendations from your YouTube or something. So we'll get, get back to this one. So let's uh, add one more thing that will be browser extension yeah I might need to move uh, some part of it to browser extension and just leave motivation to read and watch opened uh, yep so browser extension add links quickly quick or just quick show uh, information about current URL like status personal note if there was one a private note did I call it private note yeah private note private note um, also I'm thinking like maybe in future 
we will make not just private notes but also public notes or comments comments and uh, likes dislikes for some let's say article or YouTube videos will be accumulated and you will see what other people think about this page you know not all blogs or articles out there have comments section or likes dislikes or nowadays dislikes are hidden and I don't like this thing so might be uh, this extension could help you see a true picture okay what else so show information about current URL and um, modify status like let's say you have something saved in the database you are reading this link you click on the extension button and you mark it there as like yes I finished it I liked it or not leave a comment etc show and read links count uh, it keeps insisting on that okay let's add it I don't mind um, what else well let's come back to browser extension later once we have the basic uh, web application ready so yeah one more thing here is replace home page okay so this is good motivation to read watch yes uh, browser extension now mobile wrapper so the thing is there is a PWA and it works really well on Android like you can share links directly to your PWA app if it is registered as a target for sh share action and I've done it for to read today but it worked really bad on iOS like iOS didn't support push notifications back then uh, well it's kind of better right now and uh, might be it's not a good example of what's bad about PWA with this application since push notifications are not yet a feature here but you could not share links in uh, on iPhone or iPad to the PWA and I think this is still not done so that's why mobile wrapper for iPhone at least and maybe Android to save URLs quickly would be great okay and also offline mode the same for PWA because basically with PWA is very easy to implement mobile wrapper I guess it's a little bit harder but we'll see uh, okay so that's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. this this is important se section fast add and import so bookmarklet yeah we might go this way in the beginning at least um, yeah where should I add it maybe here fast add and import bookmarklet uh, import browser bookmarks this code I can basically copy from this to read today up polish it a little bit so it's not that nasty okay what else Chrome extension yeah PWA okay this is fine for now um, basically most of features here that we will build but we will build them quickly will replace to read today with the new implementation like version 2 uh, but these parts like browser extension and mobile wrapper they will be new also the difference will be in database structure like uh, to read today uses Firestore and it's no SQL database uh, it supports real-time like we are going to use the web sockets for 
um, tabs manager. So it's similar, but the way data is structured is different. In SQL, it's more structured and no SQL, it's a little bit of a mess. And uh, some features are just impossible to build or you need a lot of workarounds. So I basically don't like Wirestore. You need to use it carefully. You need to know its downsides. Uh, and some applications are better fit for it. Some applications have better fit for SQL. So yeah. Okay, uh, what else? Let me see what we have here. Cloud-based storage that syncs between browser. Yep. I think of the idea that everything you have, all the links, tags, folders, etc., should be stored on device and uh, the difference should be synchronized with the server every time you make some difference. But uh, the reason why it should all be on your device is because it should work online first, oh, sorry, offline first. Like you can add everything offline and uh, later on when you, when the device became online, it will sync with the backend. Uh, next thing is um, yep, you sh it should support multiple devices or browsers. So data is in synced in real time between them. So that will be still here. Okay, next one, ability to save tabs, links of metadata. Yep, that we already wrote in details. Real type communication, yep. Well, let's leave it here. It's implemented, but we just keep it in mind. Um, so we don't forget. We can even mark it as done. Uh, one more thing that I just saw but didn't write is offline first approach with browser in browser database. Did I write it anywhere here? Mm, nope, not yet. Okay, so these are kind of advanced features, but we'll mark them first because they are the core things and that might make a difference. Uh, responsive and modern user interface. Uh, yeah, this interface is uh, very beginnerish uh, for now, so I wouldn't call it very modern. Uh, but it should be responsive and it should look nice. So later on I will ask help uh, of my friend who is CSS developer who, who are focused on building, building nice UIs. So I will ask of their help and maybe I will make another video of like what I learned from them, etc. Okay, type safe, safe ORM with Prisma. Yep, we will leave it. Well, Daisy UI, easy setup, configuration of Docker. It's not kind of application feature. It's it's um, something related to the app, how we develop it more. Uh, but it's it's okay. Let's leave them. So let's put it here. Easy setup and configuration of Docker. So we have Docker Compose, but we might need to put more things into Docker. We'll see, we'll see. Type safe ORM of Prisma. Yeah, this is done. Okay, I think this is good for now. So we have a plan. I think future sessions that I will record, they will be more focused on things from this list. In addition with some, some side topics like validation, like with Zod, something advanced or how to do this or that with this technology. Like, you know, this is like our goals, but what are the tools that we are going to use for these goals, to reach these goals? Yep. So 
you can expect we move through this list and implement feature by feature and I will record it all live for you guys. So thank you for your attention. In the next session, we will do something from this list. Not exactly know what else. I'll uh, think about it and let you know in the beginning of the next video. Meanwhile, have a good day and see you. Ciao.